For the mourners, who had been queuing for hours, little could have prepared them for this. The sight of the king and his three siblings standing vigil around their late mother's coffin in what's called the Prince's Vigil. I saw the whole family. I can't believe it. We came into the chamber about three minutes before the end of the vigil. Absolutely amazing. So moving. It's just so beautiful. Very emotional, actually, and, and very respectful of, of what everyone's doing there and, and how they must be feeling. So, yeah. So I stood there for, I think it's about 14 hours, but it's been worth every minute. Every minute. Prince Andrew was allowed to wear a military uniform for the occasion, a rare exception during the period of mourning after he was stripped of his titles. For 10 minutes, Queen Elizabeth's four children held vigil, head bowed, as the public filed past. It's now becoming a feat of endurance to get here. Mourners hoping to catch a glimpse of the Queen's coffin can expect to queue for well over 20 hours, with the line sneaking along the south bank of the River Thames for several kilometres. Volunteers have been handing out food and water, making sure no one goes hungry. So we're giving them tea, coffee, we're giving them, we've, we even had some blankets that we handed out earlier. A shoulder to cry on, someone to share a story with, somebody to share experiences with, so we can talk to, about, we can talk to them about We've met the Queen. Have you met the Queen? On Saturday night, it'll be the turn of the late Queen's grandchildren to stand vigil. Both Prince William and Prince Harry will be dressed in military uniform when they stand at opposite ends of their grandmother's coffin.